Hello. Today I'm going to do a scrap background, just a collage. So I've got all these little bits and pieces, and I did save these because they're pretty little glittery bits and pieces, and those are gorgeous to put on a collage as you'll as you'll watch, as you'll see when I do it. All right, so, and I just have a piece of scrap paper that I've drawn on already and stamped on and messed with, but rather than throw it away, then I wanna use this technique on it. If I can open this up. Where's my little knife? There. Rub that on there. Throw that in the garbage. This is so sticky. And I'm hoping and praying my kitties do not jump up on here while I'm doing this, because that would be a disastrous mess. Yep, I would not be a happy mama. All right, so that's done. And here I am worried about my fingers getting blue. I don't worry about the fingers, just do it. Okay, so we've got some blue on here already, so let's spread that out. And we're just gonna start laying papers down and covering this up wherever we have glue already. And then we're gonna glue around it. There, and see it? I'm just gonna stick it right down. And glue right over top of them. Because I can. <laughs> now every time I say that, I think of whoever you were that said, I like the way you say, because I can. So now I'm self-conscious about it. Not in a negative way, but I'm just noticing more that I'm saying it. <laughs> but I like giving myself permission to do things, you know? It's fun. This is the easiest way to have a, a thing of, this is called Mod Podge. Mod Podge or uh, gesso will cover it's like a paint that'll cover. But this Mod Podge will just glue everything right down for you, which is really nice. So you just stick the stuff on there and let it, let it go. Yep. There, when I'm all done, then I like to, it's piled up, then I like to put the pretty glitter stuff on there. <laughs> yep, there, that's gonna be so pretty, whoops. I it right back off again. Stay on there. There you go. Woohoo. Yep. All right. Let's put some more on there. There's that. And there. Sticky, sticky, sticky. And you can actually make Mod Podge too, but I haven't had it in a while, so I didn't have a container. So I bought this one so I could make my own. And all you need is cheap school glue, it's just half and half water and glue. So it's a real runny glue, and that's all you need. So if you have an empty jar, that'll work just as well. Or you can do what I'm doing and just buy a Mod Podge jar, which already has the label on it and everything, so I know exactly what it is. No question about it if I leave it sit for a while. So I can definitely go back to it later on and know exactly where, what it is and where it is. Yep. Now this was also a, a requested video. Somebody was wanting to actually see the process of doing a, a, back, a collage background. So that's what got me wanting to do this, this again. I do like making them because the request was also when I, once it dries to do an, a second video on how to use it. So that'll be the next video. So for now I'm just making it. And as you can see it's it's fun. You're just sitting here painting it right on. Painting all these bits and pieces on. And this is when you're down to all these little itty bitty scraps. 
and there's nothing else left to do with them, then you can certainly use them for things like this. And I like to use either a sponge or a really nice, uh, I almost said toothbrush. Yeah, because we're going to brush our teeth with that. <laughs> no, we're not. Well, unless you're being real ridiculously silly with grandkids or something. I might do that for the grandkids. <laughs> you never know. I do like to be silly. And I love to get the kids giggling and laughing. So, yes, I do. They know they got a silly, goofy grandma. Ooh, that one had numbers on it. Cool. And that was not wet underneath. All right, we'll try that again there. You got to get it wet underneath and on top. That was pretty because it was shiny paper. And I'm just trying to, to cover up the, the yellow back paper here, which it's okay if some of it shows. It doesn't really matter. And then every once in a while, then throw bits and pieces of this on here. And then go ahead and put glue over that. There. Yep. Alrighty. So I said just talking on the phone with my sister for a little bit and oh we get so ridiculous when we're on the phone together because we love to be silly and goof around so of course we're hey what's up chicken's butt monkey's butt <laughs> just stupidity and we laugh and we say can't believe we still do that after all these years but we'll be in our 80s and 90s and still doing that Right now it's the later 50s, almost 60. <laughs> yep. But it's fun. to put the different colors in there. Alrighty, let's get that one. Whoops. just doesn't want to stay down there for some reason. Patience, that's what it takes sometimes, a little bit of patience. So it was funny, my, uh, my mom and sister live in Pennsylvania and we had, I had talked to my mom the other day and, and said, I said, yeah, my friend Donna and I went out shopping and went over to Walmart and and she said, you did. She said, your sister and I just went yesterday. And I said, yeah, what did you find? And she said she found these $5 pants that were all fluffy. They were the Serpa, Serpa, is that what it's called? The real thick fleecy? They look like sheep, the sheepy looking fleece. And I, I said, you got those $5 pants too? And she said, no way, you got them too. And I said, yes, I did. And, and I said, oh my gosh, that means I will real grandma pants because <laughs> my mother's in her 80th year. And she just laughed and laughed, of course. She just thought that was funny. She said, yep, I guess so. And she said, your sister got them too. And she said, I got all three colors. So that was funny. We all wear grandma pants. Let's 
that's what my granddaughter was saying one day. She said, yeah, that's, that's a nice sweater for you, Grandma. And she said, but no, it's, it's, not, it's not my style. <laughs> and I said, so you're saying it's old lady clothes? And she goes, well, yeah, but it looks nice on you, though. And I said, okay, I see where you're coming from. My kitty's out in the hallway banging on the spare room door trying to get in there. They hate that door being closed. <laughs> they feel restricted. But that's okay. They're going to feel restricted from that room until springtime when it's opened up. That is the coldest room in the whole house. We keep that room closed. I'm glad I brought a glass with some water up here too so I can put this sponge in there as soon as I'm done or I can not worry about this glue adhering itself all the way to my oh my goodness Let's throw that away okay to my sponge brush here in the middle of saying something and then I'm like, see something pretty over there. <laughs> Keep teasing my mom about that. Alrighty, we're getting this one filled up rather nice. Covered it. There's some pretty orange here. And this does make it so much easier with the with a sponge or a brush to do it this way rather than trying to glue it with glue or or a glue stick on the back side of these little bits and pieces. This is so much more quick and easy. Though you can still use the same glue if you just water it down. But so much more quick doing it this way. Yep. Oh, that says a silly. <laughs> Come on, slide on over there. for the edges. Stick this stuff up on the edges. There. And you can overlap too. It doesn't matter. You know, and you can hang off the, the sides. That really doesn't matter. You just got to go back and trim it. That's all. Slide that one back. Oop, it's not going to slide. Okay. That's okay. I'll just put this one on there. I guess I laid too many down at once. <laughs> Ooh, there. Now I'm finally getting down to my words. I was wondering where the words were. Down in the bottom. I need to mix this up so I can get some different things up here.
Oh, this is reminding me of one day I was flipping through YouTube and I was looking for more ideas on, you know, backgrounds, use, you know, different ways people do their collages and what type of papers they're using. And this one lady on, oh my goodness, I was so fascinated with how she was doing it because she was just taking bits and pieces that were like little tiny cutoffs and stuff and and she was doing color pages. She had a whole book of just color pages like that. And so she had a, a yellow page, you know, just like the rainbow. She, and I think that's what she was calling it, was doing her rainbow background book. And oh, that was so cool. And I'm thinking, that might be fun to do. And she used a, oh, what are they called? The composition books. And it was perfect because she could just turn the pages and do the next page and and she would just keep adding her scraps as she was collect those colors she would just keep adding those scraps and I thought that was really neat so I'm thinking of doing that next after I do this and just start doing sticking my scraps right in there instead of staving them like this so that is a nifty idea. Nice way to use up your scraps. Why not? Up oh, there goes my why not again. <laughs> there, this is going pretty quick. I like this. All right. Now I'm going to try to do over here and finish this edge. Yep, 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 yep. Put that over there. order another silicone mat because the one that I had right here I cut it up so I could use it for small bits and pieces and uh, I forgot I wanted to save I shared it with somebody else too and I forgot I wanted to save a piece for doing this because it's they're so easy to keep clean so but that's okay I don't mind buying another one especially since I was able to share with somebody else that pleases me I like to share. And isn't it funny how it's fun and exciting when, when you give some of your stuff to somebody else and they like your stuff too. I just, I find that fascinating. I think that's neat. That's one thing I really love about my, my Facebook group is the use your scraps because we're all in the same boat. We all love to, got lots of scraps and we love sharing. Everybody's got the fever of doing the flat rack stuff because it feels so good. It, it's very lifting to, to have something and be able to share. And you don't need a lot. Just when you're done using your papers for the day, just whatever is left over sitting there on your desk, you know? The big stuff put back away and the smaller stuff, share it with somebody. It's so fun. Or when you're making paper embellishments, which are normally flat, then why not share with somebody? We're getting to that age now where uh, when my sister called me, she was actually calling me to tell me that uh, somebody we knew died. And uh, I remember my mother and father-in-law, we were camping one year, and uh, or one of the years, I guess we sh I should say, one of the years we were camping, then uh, they kept getting, it seemed like every other week they were getting... People were dying that they had gone to school with. That was many years ago too, but but uh, they were the same age group that we are now. So 
in their 60s or late 50s, early 60s. And it's like, yep, we're the older group now. I still remember thinking when I found out my grandmother was in her 60s and I thought, wow, she's really old. I'm never going to be that old. <laughs> I'll probably die before I get to 60. And I don't know why I was just so intrigued, but, but it is funny, you know, when you're younger, you don't, and that's the reason why, is because you don't really realize age, you know? When you're young, you, you just, you want to be older. I want to, I want to be big like you. I want to get older. So, and then when you get there, it's like, okay, what was the big deal? <laughs> there wasn't. That amazes me when I go back over and feel this, and it's and you can feel that it's getting dry. It dries so quick, but I do have a, a vent right over the top of my uh, desk here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, you're supposed to be over there. Well, you're tacked down now, aren't you? All right, we're gonna put another one there. There. Ta-da! All right, we're like halfway done with this paper. I'm impressed. I was thinking just doing half of it, but it's going a lot quicker than I remember, so that's nice. Yep. I still can't get over how many deaths there's there have been from COVID. That's just mind-boggling and how many people had to wait for over a year to to hold the services for them that was just so sad really weird weather here we got a big old snowstorm and then it some it's been warm the last couple days now so it's starting to mount down and oh my gosh look at all that glue on my finger <laughs> that's disgusting <laughs> all righty let go so i can keep painting on this <laughs> let go all right i shouldn't have peeled that off i guess <laughs> But yeah, it's getting nice and warm for today, and to, or the last couple days anyways, and then it's supposed to start snowing again. My sister and mom went out shopping this morning and got their food, because they'll get it first, and then it'll come our way.
some of this paper is so shiny and pretty and other paper is just kind of just paper just there but when they all mix together they look so neat and then with this Mod Podge on it it looks pretty Stay down. Ooh, found some orange papers. excited in just a couple weeks my niece will be here with her twin boys that's gonna be so fun to see them again their names are Ollie and Jasper they are so adorable and they're like night and day just like my twin brothers were it's like one's dark haired and nice tan skin and the other one's bl blonde as can be with white ghosty white skin and <laughs> Yep. I always found that funny in, with my twin brothers because one looked so German and the other one looked so Hungarian. <laughs> yep. I love the differences. I just find that fascinating. It's like... See me, one of my brothers, and then both of my sisters and me. So three girls and one boy were all redheads. And then Tommy had dirty blonde hair. And Joseph had, he was a toad head. He was like white, white, white blonde. And Joshua had the, the dark brownish black hair. Yep. And he gets really, really dark. So, and he's got Mama's flat nose, that Hungarian nose. Yep. I used to cry when I was little because they used to tease me because I had my, my pointy nose and I, I didn't want a pointy nose. I wanted a flat nose like Mommy, like Grandpap. And they used to draw pictures of me to tease me, <laughs> throwing me like a pencil, like a dart, into the wall. And I'd stick with my nose. <laughs> it's funny now. It was kind of funny back then, too, because it was a funny picture. But it was upsetting because they always tease me about my pointy nose. <laughs> yep. The things that bother us when we're younger... And I always hated being a redhead because it drew way too much attention to me. Until I grew up and got married and it's like, all right. Hair color doesn't really make a difference anyways. It's funny because people that have darker hair want the lighter hair and people that have the larger, lighter hair want the darker hair and people that want, have straight hair want the curly hair and people that have curly hair want the straight hair. And I just have dry, frizzy red hair so I could make the curls happen or brush them out either way. So that part I kind of liked. It was funny, my granddaughter was asking me, what did you used to like about going to school? I said, well, first was to get out of the house. 
but second because I really enjoyed my the friends that I had. Oh, we just had so much fun. So, so much fun. Especially when we got older and going to school and just have two classes to go to during the day and in the upper classes and then we could just go in for the two classes and go up to the beach for the rest of the day. That was fun. Or go over to my friend's house and we'd watch the soap operas. <laughs> Back in the 80s, watching all those silly soap operas after school. Yep. Oh, the fun things we did. point then my best friend in high school well one of them I guess I should say I had a couple best friends but uh, one of them was dating my brother my younger brother Tommy and uh, I was dating a, a Navy guy and so we would take the bus home from school over to her house or my my boyfriend would pick us up depending on what time we were getting out and uh, then we'd just go driving around. It was so fun. He had a speaker in his car, so you could actually pick the, the speaker up and talk to people out on the road. And he had a, a window in the roof of his car, so we thought that was really cool. So we'd stand up and hang out the window and, and yell silly things at people <laughs> and just sing and be stupid. Oh my goodness, we had so much fun. And we used to love to go on trips on the weekend. We'd get up real early because we weren't allowed to spend the night. <laughs> but we could get up as early as we wanted to and leave and just be gone until late at night. And uh, had to be home by the latest 11. But oh my goodness, we had so much fun. We went to a couple different states and just drove around and just looked at the scenery and stopped and ate and that was so fun. Yep, we had so much fun going out and doing stuff like that. Oh gosh, and collecting cans. That was back when they had just started doing the paying for cans. And so we'd go collecting cans and we were trying to save up money so that we could go to the to the senior prom and because neither none of us had jobs, so we were trying to collect cans and we did. We collected more than enough cans to go. So we had to go and we'd bring we'd go out collecting the cans and then we'd bring them home and we'd dump them in my twin brother's little wading swimming pole and use the hose and clean them all out because most of them were like beer cans from the Navy base. So, and we'd, we'd put bags out at, at the stores asking for donations for cans and for the senior prom and people would put those cans in there. That was pretty neat. Yep, that was exciting. So we did definitely earn enough money to buy our tickets to go to the prom, which was nice. you laying down over here. Get down there. I guess I didn't have enough glue underneath. Wow, look at all that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Looking pretty nice. And it's just covering all that up. Oh, I love to find the little numbers. Yep. Numbers. Number numbers. Paper, rather, I should say. 
see any more of that piece of paper in there? There should be. Or the envelope. Yep, right there. Okay. Let's try to get those on there. I really like the way those look. Press down there. All right, that worked. Oop, there's a little piece of pink in there. That's pretty. Pink with hearts. Oop, I see more words. Where'd they go? Oops, where'd that other piece? There. Okay, I can use that piece. Yep. More envelope. A nice bit of pink here. Checkerboard and some more pink checkerboard. There's more envelope. Oh, there was some green grass. Where'd that green grass go? There, green grass. That's all the green grass, or I have one piece over here. I thought there was a bigger piece than that, huh? Oh, there's some more, okay. I'm trying to get the different pieces down. Red. Definitely use a lot of glue when you're doing this, that's for sure. around and let's put some more of this over here Got glue boogie stuck on there got to get that off of there all right that's pretty okay what else is in here we got to do the rest of this side and then put this little bit of glitter paper on there Looks like I had just enough torn up papers in here, which is awesome. There. Oh gosh, I don't know why I'm thinking about this. <laughs> oh, I had such a mad crush on Andy Gibb when I was a teenager, and I just loved that hairy chest. <laughs> I thought, well, he's a real man because he's got all the hair on his chest. So my, my girlfriend, Lisa, who's now my sister-in-law, when we were 12, she said she was going to marry my brother, and she did. Um... But anyways, they wanted to do a double date because they weren't, when they first started dating, they weren't allowed to go out by themselves, of course. And so they had to have someone else go on the date with them. So I said, I'd go. And uh, my brother said, okay, well, he said, I'll, I'll get one of the guys off the boat to, to come and be your date. And I said, okay. He says, do you have preference? And I said, yeah. I said, a guy with a hairy chest. He says, so I'm supposed to go and ask everybody to expose their chest. <laughs> My goodness so and I said well you asked and so he says all right fine and he just kind of breathed heavily through his nose and <laughs> kind of humped <laughs> he said all right so 
And then he went into work and uh, it was funny. So he, he went to work and then he called and said, okay, I got somebody for you. So, oh, he was allowed to date. It was me that wasn't allowed to, I had to du uh, double date. So, but anyways, uh, so he, he says, all right, his name is Tony and he'll be there at whatever o'clock. And I said, okay, fine. And he said, and yes, he's hairy. He said, he's Italian. He's real hairy. I said, okay, whatever. So, and I was interested to see what kind of guy my brother would pick for me <laughs> to go on a date with. <laughs> oh my goodness. This guy was the doofiest looking guy. And I just, I opened up the door. The, the doorbell rang. He came to pick me up in a, in a cab. Um, I opened up the door and he said, is, is Barbara here? And I said, yep, hold on a second. And I closed the door. And, uh, and I, my mind just went, oh my gosh, why, Jimmy, why? And then I thought, you know what? Doesn't matter what he looks like. He might be fun, you know, besides, you know, he's, he's paying for the date. So, and I thought, just, just go. So we were just, I was just going to go over to my sister-in-law's house anyways. And we were going to go down in their basement because they had a finished off basement. And we like to go down there and watch, watch TV and I don't know, did we play pool? Or we used to play cards at least, but I don't know. We used to just hang out in the basement over there. So I opened up the door again and, and said, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> and we left and went over there. And and Lisa was cracking up because she was like, okay. She said, Jimmy can't have at least picked somebody interesting. This, this guy, it was so sad. He was so shy. Oh my goodness, he was so shy. And I was too, believe it or not. <laughs> so I was kind of shy. And so I, you know, after I realized the reality of the situation, I thought, I realized this guy's just as shy as I am. So, and I thought that was cool. And for some reason that gave me permission to just relax and just enjoy him. He was so fun. <laughs> I was so glad that I was, that I allowed myself to not be too stupid and prejudiced against him just because he wasn't what I was expecting or hoping for and uh, we did have we did have a wonderful fun night we played cards oh my goodness and we were doing we had we knew of quite a few card card games so we were playing cards all night and just playing music and dancing around and just being silly and stupid and and uh, ordered grinders and had those together and and we were out until I had to be home. So then we went home and, or I went home and that was fun. Yep, and then he was transferred to another base. So we never did go out again, but that was, that was so fun to, to meet him. Yep, oh, I forgot to put the other, ew, yuck it. Look at that, look at that, how it's separating in there. That looks kind of gross. I forgot to put the rest of the, the yellow on there. Wow, is there a lot of glue in there? Okay, let's do this again. Let's put the yellow glittery paper on. Yep. I want to use that all up because it's just so pretty. Yep. Things we do when you're in high school, you know? Oh, all the classes that we skipped. And how many times we went up to the beach and just hung out at the beach because it was like walking distance from the from the school and we could cut through the the side brush so we wouldn't get caught sneaking out. That was so much fun. And then there was right we cut through we could one side then it took us to the beach the other side took us over to the technical school and at the bottom of that hill then there was a a playground area that we used to like to go to and just be silly and there were paths that went through the woods and stuff and that was fun yep all the 
silly things you do when you're younger. There's still a lot of that glittery paper bar. Get those out. I'm trying to get it around here. that that passed away was he was the older brother um, I went to to church with his sister and two of two of his sisters and two of his brothers two of his younger siblings and uh, the one brother was my brother my older brother's age the younger brother was my younger brother's age the two girls were my age and my sister's age so we were Pretty close. We did a lot of things together. Yep. And the, the sister that was my age died quite a few years ago. She had cancer. And she she's passed on. And uh, now the older brother, I think there was one, I think his older, he has an older brother too. I believe he was the second in age could be wrong. They had a lot of kids. I don't remember how many kids, but they had a lot of kids. Maybe eight kids or something. I was like, I thought we had a lot of kids having six kids. <laughs> or seven, including my sister Sharon, who died when she was little. There. Getting there with all these little shiny scraps. Looks nice. Okay, is there any place that I still have more? So I want to see how many of these I can get on there. Squeeze them on. Lay down, Wilbur. Lay down. Whoop. I think we're getting there. I haven't even looked at the time to see how long this is taking, but I figured she wanted to see the reality of what it's like to do this. So you're definitely going to see it. Just watch me glue down pieces of paper and chat away wherever my mind takes me. It is kind of fun though. I like doing this. And it sometimes it amazes me where my mind does go back in memory. Oh gosh. <laughs> and another memory just popped up. We were at my every every summer we would go to my uh, grandma's house. Um, we had two two of our grandmothers lived right in Butler, Pennsylvania, and every summer we'd go and spend time with each of them and uh Oh gosh, we were my my one grandmother lived at one point right next to the racetrack. She was in a trailer park, and so we were we would go to the tra to the racetrack during the daytime when it was closed, and we would just run around the track. And there was there were berry bushes over there, so we'd go over there, and she'd send us over with bowls and or or plastic bags, and we'd collect berries and take them back, and she'd pour milk and sugar on them for us, and that was always a real treat. Well, we were out there, and the boys. The boys had bought some firecrackers, so, and they were telling us girls they knew how to make bombs, and we were like, yeah, right, you do not. And they were saying, no, we really do, we know how to make bombs, and I was like, all right, whatever. 
So they said, but we need something to blow up. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Why are you telling me this? Well, because they wanted to strap the bomb to my Barbie doll. <laughs> and I'm thinking, all right, this is not going to work. Sure, you could use my Barbie doll and blow her up. Go ahead. You could try that. <laughs> so they did. They made their little bomb out of fire, fire, firecrackers. And they just used a, a sewing a sewing pin um, and folded the caps back and forth with the pin going up the center and added a string to the outside to, to catch it on fire and wrapped it up with some tape and uh, then wrapped it around my Barbie doll and adhered it to grandma's flowers in her flower garden. <laughs> got in so much trouble. <laughs> they lit that sucker and we're all standing real close because we didn't realize how big of a boom this was going to make. <laughs> and it's not that it made a huge boom by any means, but it made a big enough boom and that sucker flew. <laughs> my Barbie doll flew up in the air. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, we were laughing because it was so funny to see that. <laughs> See that Barbie bottle doll flying up in the air, and uh, I lucked out. I think just I think I don't think her legs or her arms came off or her head. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that she stayed intact. But poor Grandma's flower bed. Oh my goodness, she was so mad. Oh, she was so mad. Oh, the hours that she spent <laughs> doing her garden, and there was a big hole in the garden, and those plants were shot up in the air. Poof. It was so funny. This looks really neat. Alrighty, I think I'm about done. So and of course grandma goes in and, and her her way of dealing with us kids was I'm gonna go call your mother and she's gonna come get you and we'd cry, No, no, please, we'll be good, we'll be good. Don't call mom <laughs> And she'd She'd do it long enough to make us cry and make us feel bad. And, and then she'd be like, all right, then do you promise to behave yourselves? Because if you don't promise, I'm not giving you another chance. I'm going to call your mom right away. And it's like, yes, we promise. And so she'd give us another chance because she really didn't want us to go. But she didn't know how to deal with us when we were misbehaving. So, <laughs> oh. Now, the other grandma, on the other hand, yep, my mom's mom, she knew how to. Oh, she just had that stern look about her and you just she was the type of grandma that it just killed you it killed us when we disappointed her and the look on her face she would purse her face up and just the look on her face we knew we had hurt her you know and or we just totally disappointed her and we just could not handle that look on her face oh my goodness that was just so sad to see that look on her face Alrighty, I think we are good. This is done. This is done. Yep, let me scrape this off. Get this out of there because I don't want that to hold the jar closed. Alrighty, let's close this up. Put this over here. And I'm going to bring this up closer so you can see it. So look at that. Isn't that funky looking? I love how shiny it is too. And they do have two types of Mod Podge. They have this, um, this is the glossy one, and they do have a matted one also. But I chose the glossy because I wanted that glitz and glamour. And that is really pretty the way it looks. So just on one piece of paper, and it took me just under an hour to do that. So to cover this entire piece of paper. So now we have to just let this dry. So I'm going to have to put it up high so my kitties don't jump up on it and get it all furry. Because they will do that. <laughs> Alrighty. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.